The art for cooking has been around since the humans have walked on this earth. But the same cannot be said about the tools which are used for this art. Hello and welcome to Retro Room, where we will discuss 12 kitchen items from the 80s that have fallen out of favor. Many kitchen utensils have been invented and many have been discarded for various reasons, like utensils being outdated, unneeded or utensils being hard to handle. Number one on our list is the cake breaker. Although this kitchen utensil looks like a weapon used by a horror movie villain, but its use is somewhat softer. It's a specialized baking utensil with ling tines instead of a blade. The tines are almost always cylindrical in shape and are typically 3 inches long. Used for cutting soft and crumby cakes like angel cakes, this kitchen item was a must-have for every housewife back in the 80s. For what is a brunch without weird weapon-shaped utensils at hand? The second retro kitchen item is the ice ball maker. Nowadays when you go to a bar, you're not gonna be looking at an ice ball maker. Weirdly though, back in the 80s, it was a common kitchen item. Dads in the 80s used these kitsy little things to make perfectly clear ice ball to enjoy a cup of whiskey or bourbon after a long day of work. 80s dad liked things classy apparently. Sticking to icy goodness, the third item on our list is aluminium ice tray. Ice cubes are a must have for any house. But you know what's not a must have? The aluminium ice trays. That's right. Back before plastic was used to make everything cheaper and accessible, moms in the 80s had no other option but to use aluminium ice trays. They would fill up the trays with water and freeze them, only to unfreeze them a tiny bit to make the ice easier to take out of the tray. Sounds inefficient, right? Probably why no one uses them anymore. Lunches in the 80s were surely something else. Speaking of lunches, our fourth item is Breville Toasted Sandwich Maker. Every kid in the 80s had pressed triangle shaped sandwiches for lunch filled with goody goodness. The Breville Toasted Sandwich Maker also known as Toasty Maker or simply a Breville was one of the staples of every household in the 80s. The Breville was basically an electric hot plate cooker but customized for all kinds of sandwiches. It consisted of two heat plates that had molded in them which pressed the sandwiches when closed and locked with the hinge given. After some time, the Breville is opened and voila, a delicious toasty awaits you. Can you guess what's the best time to take tea? You probably can't, but the people in the 80s could, with the fifth item on our list. Swan Tea's Made. Isn't it the time for a cup of tea? If you're British, you know that there's always a time for tea, but going through the hassle of preparing tea every few hours is a pain for all. But going through the hassle of preparing tea every few hours is inconvenient for everyone. The 80s housewives didn't have tea bags to make their lives easier, but what they did have was the Swan Teas Made. It's an unusual looking teapot that could be mistaken for a kitchen scale at first glance. But that's not what it does. No, the Swan's Teas Made had a clock with a light, an alarm, and a special function that set the teapot make tea at certain time. No more getting up and making tea for 80s housewives. They just had to set up the swans teas made to do it for them. Speaking of beverages, let's not forget sodas because 80s people never did. With the sixth item on our list, Soda Stream. One of the most 80s products on our list, many people still remember that fun Soda Stream ad where all kids and grown-ups enjoyed various flavors of Soda Stream and had fun with the catchy song in the background. Get busy with the fizzy. Back then, everyone was obsessed with this must-have gadget that could turn normal tap water into amazing sparkling water in 30 seconds. Every kid wanted one in their homes, and it was the height of coolness having soda stream in your house. For anyone who grew up in the 80s, having a soda stream in the kitchen was equivalent of performing a magic. There are cookies, and then there are cookies that housewives of the 80s made, with the seventh item on our list, cookie press. It's the holidays, and instead of buying cookies from the local bakers, as people do nowadays, back in the 80s, it was a tradition to bake cookies together with kids. Whether it's Halloween, New Year's Eve, or Thanksgiving, 
the sweet aroma of baking cookies would be found in every household. Entering any 80s home during holidays meant immediately smelling these amazing scents of cookie dough and freshly baked goods. Moms in the 80s always had cookie presses and decorative tips and discs that were shaped like trees, gingerbread men, hearts or even snowmen to make every holiday more fun. No 80s kitchen would be complete without cookie press in it. It's the 80s of course, and there's going to be some gadget for cutting fries as well. With the number 8 on our list, the French fry cutter. It all started back when Thomas Jefferson ate French style fried potatoes in White House and coined the term French fries. That's all it took for everyone to start eating the modern day French fries. Very few meals would taste good without French fries. But who could go through the hassle of peeling and cutting potatoes every time you wanted to eat the potato delight? 80s housewives had that covered with this huge metal contraption for cutting fries that looked like it belonged in the garage more than the kitchen. The french fry cutter was simple to use. Well, if you had the strength for it, simply peel a potato and put it in the machine. Then press down on the handle to see the whole potato cut into fries. Shaved ice was apparently a huge thing in the 80s. Enough that the ninth item on our list is the ice pet. What do you do when it's the 80s and it's a scorching hot day in summer? And you have nothing frozen to eat at all. An ice pad had that covered. An ice pad is a kitchen utensil used to turn blocks of ice into shaved ice. It was a common occurrence in the 80s household. The shaved ice was a fun way to relax in the hot summers. You could add colors to it along with juicy flavors and crunch the day with the icy goodness. Mashing potatoes is an art. And the tool used for it is the number 10th on our list. The potato measure. Mashed potatoes have always been a very important dish, especially for the 80s moms, who had creamy mashed potatoes, salty ones, textured ones, and whatnot. But for the important task of mashing potatoes to perfection, the potato measure was used. Found in every 80s household, the potato measure was a handheld stainless steel kitchen utensil with wavy ends used to mash all potatoes into oblivion, or creamy goodness, whichever are the preferences. On every Thanksgiving, the 80s moms would be found mashing potatoes with this kitchen utensil. Thankfully, there are now easier ways and less time-taking ways to mash potatoes, like using a food processor. Speaking of less time-taking ways, the number 11th on our list is the total time slasher, the electric knife. Again, this is another kitchen gadget that would benefit a horror movie villain. The electric knife was all the rage back in the 80s, with different stainless steel blades for different purposes. The electric knife helped 80s moms keep their delicate muscles while carving the most tedious things like ham, roast, duck, or any other food item. With its plastic casing, multiple blades, and easy to clean nature, many women lined up to buy the electric knife. Last but not the least, 12th item on our list is the egg separator. Separating yolk from egg whites is an age old tradition. Whether it's for baking or because 80s husbands preferred egg whites, an egg separator was always found in the home. But unlike its modern silicone counterpart, there was a stainless steel egg yolk separator with round spring-like rings that were very effective in nearly separating the yolk from the egg. The egg separator was a very kitsy, must-have item in the 80s household. And that's it for the today's video. Are there any kitsy kitchen items that we forgot to mention? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos on things retro. Tuning out, Retro Rome.